The all-new Power 105.1, KC's hip-hop and R&B. It's the Shea Moore Morning Show. A man whose name is synonymous with Kansas City music and entertainment scene was the first homicide of 2024 in Kansas City. I'm talking about Vonzel Bryant, also known as Captain Vonzel, who many people credit for stepping the nightlife game up in Kansas City to the next level. I've got Sean Edwards on the line with me, a musical historian, a film critic, and you recognize what what Captain Von Zell meant for Kansas City, right? Oh, 100%. I mean, you know, we celebrated the 50th anniversary of hip-hop, but I, I, I don't think we have that celebration, or the celebration's not the same if not for Captain Von Zell, especially here in Kansas City, because, you know, in, in order to celebrate something, you have to know about it, and you have to be in love with it, and he was definitely an instrumental figure who introduced hip-hop to a lot of people in Kansas City at a time when the only way you could hear hip hop was at parties. Some of my audience has no understanding of what you're talking about right now, Sean, where you couldn't get hip hop unless you went to a party that Captain Von Zell was throwing. Explain that to the young folks who are like, what is he talking about? And when hip hop was first born, when hip hop was first you know, created in the early 70s. It was the music of the people and the music of the streets. But unfortunately, the radio industry was really slow to embrace the culture. It wasn't necessarily because they didn't like the music. I think there was a, a, a lack of understanding of what this music could be. I mean, initially, a lot of people were like, what is this hip hop? What is rap music? You know, what are these DJs doing? Mixing and scratching, you know, real vinyl records together to create new sounds. Generally, when you have something that's new, sometimes it takes a little a little while for it to be embraced. And as the sound spread throughout the country and ultimately landed here in Kansas City, you know, you know, people loved the music, but the only way you could get that music was by going to parties. And Captain Von Zell was an early DJ who, who threw parties, you know, in the park. You know, he, they had sound systems in, in the parade park. They had sound systems in Swope Park. And then ultimately they began throwing parties at high school gymnasiums, primarily Lincoln College Prep, the Purcell High School. They threw a few parties at, at Central High School. But Lincoln College Prep was, was ground zero for, for hip-hop parties, and one of the DJs who regularly threw parties was Captain Von Zell. And that's where Captain Von Zell would play all these early hip-hop songs that you would be introduced to because it was the only place where you could hear the music. It wasn't on the radio. It wasn't on television. There was no such thing as Spotify and YouTube and all these other platforms that we have now. So people would gather at the parties listen to the music, fall in love with it, and then, you know, <laughs> go to record stores the next day and, and try to find the, the, the songs that they heard at the party. If you could, a lot of times you couldn't even find the music at the record stores. So you were primarily introduced to the sounds of hip-hop through the DJs, and one of the most influential DJs in Kansas City was Captain Von Zell. My heart goes out to his family and the folks who attended his parties, people who helped to create the history of music and nightlife right here in Kansas City. I sent a message to his son, V. Diddy, and, um, you know, I want to offer him an opportunity to come and talk about his dad as well on the show because, I mean, his legacy is worth noting. It's sad because it's definitely a huge loss. I mean, uh, like if Kansas City had the equivalent of a, a Smithsonian, He's definitely someone who should be, you know, in, inducted. I mean, his legacy sh should live forever. And, and, you know, this is not the way it should have ended. It breaks your heart because he was such an important historical figure, particularly when you talk about the cultural landscape of Kansas City. Definitely. Sean Edwards, thank you for calling up this morning and weighing in on the loss of Captain Von Zell in Kansas City. It's the Shade Boy Morning Show on Power 105.1.